Mitzi! I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. Wow, that was uncomfortable for everybody. Okay, look, before you get mad at me for showing Julia Roberts as Harriet Tubman, I wanna make this very, very clear. This was an actual idea, an actual Hollywood executive once actually proposed. Yes, some dude, presumably seconds removed from a dump truck pouring cocaine right onto his face, suggested the woman, famous for gritty woman, and notably being a white woman, would be the perfect woman to portray a woman famous for working on the Underground Railroad, and notably being not a white woman. I guess they're both American. In recognition of her bravery and skill, we welcome her to the committee as a conductor on the railroad. As long as I have one ass instead of two, I'll wear what I like. See, according to Gregory Allen Howard, the screenwriter for 2019's Harriet, when he was first pitching the movie back in 1994, an unnamed Hollywood executive suggested Julia Roberts. That sounds like something a drunk Confederate general might pose during the Civil War itself. But 1994 was the same year South Africa finally held its first multiracial elections after the fall of apartheid. We had gushers then. We were supposed to know better, to be better. Anyway, during the same meeting, the one black executive in the room pointed out that, hey, by the way, Julia Roberts is actually more on the whiter side and therefore perhaps not the best person to play Harriet Tubman. At which point the first executive responded, that was so long ago. No one is going to know the difference, but I bet they might. And even more surprisingly, 25 years later, the movie's casting still sparked controversy, not because Harriet Tubman was now played by John Cena. Everybody would have been on board with that. But because the woman who did play Tubman, Cynthia Erivo, is British and therefore not an actual descendant of American slaves. There were some who thought the choice could be disrespectful to black Americans. The director, Casey Lemons, dismissed those complaints as she herself is an African American. And also, you know, it's not like they cast Julia Roberts. Seems like a low bar to clear, but thankfully they did. Another weird non-racial Harriet Tubman controversy involves Spider-Man. And I know what you're thinking, holy shit! Harriet Spider Tubman punching racist in the face. Sounds amazing. But the actual story is a bit less awesome. See, in certain scenes of the finished movie, Harriet receives visions from God that allow her to see the future and detect when enemies are nearby. If you think I'm exaggerating, the director actually referred to it as Tubman's spidey sense. While Tubman did claim to experience visions, it's probably because she suffered a head injury in her youth. And historians believe she had narcolepsy, epilepsy, or both. So representing it as a straight up supernatural ability akin to a teenager who can preemptively sense attacking dudes in rubber goblin masks seems kind of messed up. Shame on you. But wait, there's more. Even more controversy came from the movie, including this dude Gideon, the son of Tubman Slaver, who grows up alongside her and then becomes obsessed with recapturing her after she escapes. Yeah, he doesn't exist. Also, in the movie, he hires a black bounty hunter named Bigger Long, who also didn't exist, meaning the screenwriters came up with the name Bigger Long and decided they were never gonna top that. In the final confrontation, Gideon actually kills Long to prevent him from killing Tubman. This was decried as a white savior moment, although it's really more of an only I'm allowed to kill you situation. Still, it's a weird look for Harriet Tubman movie. Predictably, when word of this scene hit Twitter, it stirred controversy prompting the not my Harriet hashtag. But hey, at least the cast and crew can rest easy knowing that thankfully, mercifully, hashtag not my Harriet didn't refer to a film starring Julia Roberts. Of course, for all we know, they may have worked on it for a while and just changed slavery to weddings and slave catchers to Richard Gere. And oh God, that's probably how we got Runaway Bride. I think there is a distinct possibility that I am profoundly and irreversibly screwed up. Not you. Not anymore. <laughs>